Hello and welcome back to Colony Airdrops. In this video, I will show you how to run Pipe Network Testnet node. Okay, so we already run Pipe Network node in DevNet phase. Now we will be running Pipe Network in Testnet phase. Okay. So before that, if you are not subscribed to our channel, make sure to subscribe our channel and join our Telegram. If you have any doubt, make sure not to ask in our YouTube comments and make sure to use our Telegram channel. So it will make it make it uh, easier for me to answer as well. Okay, so let's start. So pipe network testnet launched uh, around one week ago. Okay, so now we can run this testnet node as well. So if you have already run in devnet phase, you must have gotten an uh, an invite code that we, that is needed to run this testnet node. Okay, so if not, if you're not yet sign up for this uh, form, okay, so make sure to open this link from here and then. Fill this form if you have run a node in your in DevNet phase. Okay, so you will need your DevNet node ID. Okay, the system requirement is Ubuntu 24.04. Okay, so the Ubuntu 22 is not working. Okay, so we will need 24 version. So I've already updated for Contabo users how to upgrade your VPS to Ubuntu 24.04. You can check our Telegram for that. Okay, so we will need 16 GB RAM. Okay, so it will work for 4 GB RAM as well. Okay, so just 16 GB RAM is given in their in their documents. Okay, so SSD storage is 100 GB plus. Okay, so the more the better. So if you have run the node in the previous DevNet phase, you will have this node info file. Okay, so you will need to go into the CD pipe directory. Okay, CD pipe and then type ls. You will see node info dot json file. Okay, so use this SFTP feature to copy this node info file in your from your VPS to your local machine ok so once that is done let's go back and then run this command Now we will open ports 80 and Copy this command, then run, type enter. This command, so now close your VPS and then log in again. Okay, so close your VPS from here and then log in your VPS again. Okay, now we have to download the five binaries okay so click on this link user invite code okay and it will show you here then download this linux x64 version okay so once that file is downloaded so once this is downloaded the file is downloaded you have to use this sftp feature of terminus and drag and drop the file in your folder that you just created here okay so go to terminus click on sftp okay navigate to the file in your local machine where that it is pop the pop file is downloaded okay connect your vps in, in the right side then click on this double dot then click on opt and pop cache 
and then drag and drop your file here wait for some time for it to okay so now it is done click on go back to your vps again let's go back to guide and then unzip that file okay. and open a configuration file now make sure to open notepad okay copy this hole in your notepad and now you have to rename and change everything here okay so your pop name will be anything you want okay you can set up your own name for location in country you can use this command okay so copy this whole command and right control x and then it will give you your country and your city okay let's go back to configuration file okay once you have this you have to enter your invite code here which you get from email okay then here your node name okay you can use the same name as well okay then your name here you can anything you want then your email website for website you can put your github profile link or your twitter profile link anything you want discord username and telegram username okay for solana public key you can use new wallet okay or if you can use old wallet as well but i would suggest first you import that uh, your devnet wallet into your phantom okay phantom solana phantom and then copy the, from there okay or you can use your new wallet okay so since devnet was not incentivized so it would not matter you can create a new wallet as well okay so i am using new wallet here okay and for this if you have let's say 16 gb ram you can use let's say 10 gb or like 12 gb of space okay if you want 12 gb ram okay and for this size you can use 200 gb 300 gb anything you want okay so more so the more the better okay so here the 4096 is 4 gb ram okay so 1024 let me type so let's say 1024 gb sorry 1024 mb is equals 1 gb okay so you multiply that uh, let's say you want to six, you want to use 6 gb then 6 gb will be 1024 into 6 okay so we usually calculate with 1024 okay then you, you can use that full cal calculation and then you can paste it here okay so once you have set up your configuration file make sure to use control x then y then enter to go back to your directory okay let's say okay. so that is done and then we proceed to the next command so copy this command Then to check you can use this okay so it said that it is active and running okay to check the logs you can use journal ctl okay. so it will some take some time to get the logs okay so your system is active and running uh, wait for five ten minutes to check back again and you will see the logs coming from this command okay so if you want to let's say change here something let's say the configuration file so what you have to do you can change configuration file and then stop your pop cache and then run this command to restart with your configured edited okay so that's it for this video and i will update uh, this setup in our GitHub as well and I will update on my telegram and Twitter as well. So make sure to follow us on there. 
and I will see you in the next one.